Hello everyone, today we'll talk about how to migrate data to Nisuni using GHH Copy 360 Enterprise. Today we will migrate from local disk or UNC share over to Nisuni. Nisuni filers have data cache locally which can fill up during initial data migration. We worked very closely with Nisuni to come up with a solution that eases up the migration. Our software is now Nisuni cache aware. As data is copied to Nasuni, we periodically check to see if the cache is nearing its limit, which is a threshold that you can set. If it crosses that threshold, then we pause the job while Nasuni filer commits its data to the cloud. This is also called snapshotting. Once the data cache is freed up again, we will resume the job and continue the circle until the job is complete. Let's dive into the software to show you how easily this can be implemented. We have GSH Copy 360 Enterprise open. We're going to right click anywhere and create a new job. We're going to skip the wizard and I'm going to give the job a name. So it would be like demo copy to Nisuni. And the source tab, since we're copying from a local disk, we just select local network drive, type in G drive data Counting. I'm going to copy root folder, which basically means copy the accounting, create the accounting folder in the destination. Now, when it comes to the destination, which is Nasuni, I'm going to type in Nasuni, location, the filer, and then the share. This could be share one. And then you select your different options to want to copy all mirror. So if, here we're going to pretend that we're doing a migration. So we just go ahead and select the different options. Uh, we want to copy NTFS permissions, files and folders, copy locked files, folders, timestamp, uh, copy file attribute. Now here's the important feature we want to select is advanced destination options. Since the SUNY gives us an advanced destination option that we can do, so we click on check that box and click on configure, and we enable it. And at that point, we select whether we want to monitor the disk space and set the threshold by percentage or by gigabytes. So we're going to go ahead and select if it's less than 50 gigabytes, uh, then we're going to pause the job. And we're going to check the SUNY every five minutes. So every five minutes we'll check the cache. If the cache is less than 50 gigabytes, the job will pause and it will continue to check the cache every five minutes to see if the SUNY has cleared up that cache again and once it's above 50 gigabytes, the job will resume automatically. I'm going to click OK. We're going to use four threads. You can check the option that says copy files instantly. This way, if you can have millions of files, if you don't have millions of files, don't check it. And then we we'll click Save. This is exactly what I would do if you wanted to migrate to Nisuni, if you want to copy NTFS permissions and so forth. We click Save. And now the job is created, we can right click on it and click start. For, for this example, we're not going to run the job, but just want to show you how that's done. If you were to look at the log, once the job is complete, you will notice in the log that the job is paused. So this is a, obviously a log from a previous job. We copied the job, we, the job ran uh, to copy data to Nasuni. And then the job is paused, and then it resumed again as soon as it noticed the cache is freed. And then once it filled up again, it paused, and then it resumed automatically without us having to interfere. Uh, please let us know if you have any questions, and uh, thank you for watching.